Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Josh Bond, and welcome back to our series on humans. Now, today we are just going to be covering kind of the, the upper chest, all the muscles associated in that area, and the shoulders, and a little bit of the upper arms. But we're mostly going to be focusing on the upper chest and shoulders. I just decided to put these two in a video because it's kind of hard to do one without the other. So we're going to be doing kind of a frontal view and a side view. Um, this video is mostly going to be focusing on the male anatomy of it all. Um, I'm going to do a video on how to do kind of female stuff, like the breasts and stuff like that. I'll, I'll do a video on that a little bit later down the line. Um, but today we're just going to be focusing on kind of the male stuff. Uh, some of these things can be applied to females, but uh, there are going to be a couple of little changes, like slimmer stuff and a little bit less muscle definition in specific places, or more so. It depends on uh, what your uh, character is going to be. So we're just going to start off just quickly by just drawing a couple outside features that are going to be important. So we're going to kind of draw where our neck is going to be. We're going to have our character's chin here. Going up like that, meets with the neck, and then goes up, and there we go. So that's going to just be our quick little uh, sketch of the start of the head. We're not really going to be putting tons of detail into this kind of head and neck area. We've already, we've already covered that in a previous video. So now what's going to happen is here where your trapezius muscles are going to be. They come out. Um, the angle is kind of steep. Not quite as steep as the neck. And yeah, so it comes out kind of just like that. And then you're going to have your deltoids and your deltoids are going to be your main shoulder muscles. And so they're going to be just right beside your traps. Um, that's just short for trapezius muscles. And it is just kind of a little bit of a uh, a slimmer angle. So you're going to be able to tell the difference between kind of this angle here and this angle here. So yeah. So that's going to kind of be the way you're wanting to go down with your deltoids. Now, deltoids are rather square in general. Um, that doesn't mean that you want to like build them like that. No, or not robots. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to kind of have kind of just your curves or your edges and your uh, corners, they're going to be curved. They don't have to be super curved, but they will be curved. And then you're going to go kind of out. It's going to be rather straight, but it will go out. And then at the end, it curves back in. So that's kind of how you're going to be doing your deltoid. Um, you can make your deltoid a little bit, uh, just a little bit curvier if you want, and it will depend on the musculature of the figure. You can just have it be a little bit curved if you'd like. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. But yeah, that, in general, that's going to be how you're going to be doing your deltoid. So I'm just going to quickly do another one kind of over on this side, almost even. Yeah, you don't want to be going doing one side to perfection and then moving on to the other side. I've mentioned that in other videos. And it's the same thing here. So there we go. There's kind of where our shoulders are going to be. Now, um, moving on, we're going to kind of have a little bit of uh, detail in the upper chest area. So um, we're going to have kind of Adam's apple. That's where that's going to be. We're going to have kind of this dip here. Now this is going to be the dip where your clavicle is. And leading off of the clavicle, we're going to have your um, sternocleidomastoids, which are going to come up into the neck. And then, of course, the clavicle. Now the clavicle kind of comes up a little bit. Sorry if I didn't draw it up and I just drew it straight in other videos, but it does actually come up a little bit. This is going to put a bit of shading underneath because it does stick out a little bit. And a little shading over top because there is kind of a little... Um, there's, there's a little dip in there. Just gonna do that on the other side too. And yeah. So that's kind of where your clavicle is going to be. 
So that's an important detail that you're going to need to get. Um, depending on your figure, it may extend farther, it may curve at the ends. Uh, it really just depends on like, the musculature of your figure. Yeah, sometimes it's up to personal preference how much you put into how much your clavicle sticks out or uh, how far it goes back. So that's just one quick thing. Now we're going to be focusing on kind of chest muscles. So we're going to start with the pectoral muscles, which are the main chest muscles. We're going to kind of start them here and here. So what you're going to immediately notice is that I've kind of have these lines and they're kind of going in. Well, um, at the very top, your pectoral muscles do kind of do that. And it's going to kind of be following that kind of a curve. Um, hmm. I think I'm just going to place them a little bit farther out. Yeah. Just going to put them a little bit farther out. And there we go. So that's where our, uh, the edges of our pectoral muscles and where they come and meet kind of in the armpit area. That's where they're going to be. And so they start initially like that, and then they kind of curve in. Um, they're not going to be perfectly round, they're not going to be perfectly square. And they kind of just curve in like this. And then in the middle where they're meeting, they're going to kind of come up to kind of a point almost. And so that's going to be kind of the, the beginning of our pectoral muscles. I'm just going to quickly, uh, I didn't curve it up soon enough, so I'm just going to quickly go in and do that. I'm going to have them curving up and in here. I'm going to have our point where they meet there. I'm going to curve up and in there. Um, and so yeah. That's kind of where our pectoral muscles are going to be. So there'll be a little bit of shading coming up through the middle. Um, sometimes there'll be a little bit of shading kind of in across here. That's just how it happens with uh, muscles and whatnot. So we're just going to add a tiny little bit of shading here. Yeah, I'm just going to be doing hatching shading for this whole video. So. Sorry if you're not a fan of hatching shading, and if it just looks too much like a sketch for you. That's kind of the point. So there we go. We're kind of getting our pecs in. Uh, now, moving a little bit uh, to the sides. Where your pecs are, um, you don't want just lines following down, and that's going to be going to the waist and then to the side. You don't want them to be, just be straight lines coming down. Um, what you're actually going to have is kind of a little bit of bicep and um, just the sides where your rib cage is. So we're going to have to draw a little bit of bicep for this. So basically, um, it's just going to do that. It's just going to be a nice curve that kind of just follows. Um, since you're viewing the bicep from the front, it's not going to do like the typical bulge that you're going to have when you flex. So that's important. And then your inner bicep. And it kind of comes out like that on just an angle like that. And then we're going to have your ribs that are going to come down because your ribs will pop out a little bit beyond where your pectorals are. And then they start to come down. So we're going to do that on this side too. Again, we're going to have the bicep. Same thing on the inside, but it's going to be kind of coming in a little bit more. And then we're going to have kind of the outside coming in. I'm going to redo a little bit of this bicep because it was coming in too much. Um, generally it's a good idea to be looking back and forth on your image to figure out exactly how big you made one thing and how big you made another just so that you can make sure that they're not too different from each other. If you make them too different from each other it won't, one of them won't look like they belong there and it'll look awkward. Um, sometimes on bodies, you are going to have one side be a little bit bigger than the other, and so a little bit of uh, uh, difference is okay. So yeah, so that's going to kind of be the kind of shape that your chest is going to be following. Now, moving on, we're going to move on to just a little bit more of abdominal muscles. 
Um, we're not going to be covering all of them because this is going to be mostly focusing on the upper chest, but we should cover just a little bit of them. Just going to add a little bit of shading kind of here under the pectoral because pectorals do extend a little ways away from the body. So just adding a tiny bit of shading along there. So there we go. Um, so the first abdominal. Um, if you remember in our last video, they're not going to be super big. The first abdominals. Um, there will be kind of a rather faint uh, line of shading that we're going to add, just going up and down throughout the whole thing. But yeah, the main thing you're going to want to focus on is right underneath. And then it kind of fades away. So that's kind of where our first abdominals are going to be. Now, the second ones, um, this is where abs, they do just a, a little bit of a different thing. Sometimes they can have kind of a, somewhat bends or folds in them, and they'll change directions a little bit. Um, not like uh, one will go this way and one will be going that way. I don't mean anything like that. I mean that if you look at it from the side, um, like we would have our kind of, we would have kind of our pectoral and then abdominal. Sometimes other abdominals they would kind of go like this, but it would be one abdominal, and so it would be smooth. So that is why we're going to add another little tiny bit of shading. We're just going to add a little bit of shading kind of along there. So there we go. Next is going to be the bottom of this second abdominal part that we're doing. Okay, just going to create another layer to show you guys what I mean. This is one section of abdominals. This is going to be your top abs. And this entire thing is your second abdominals. It, like, and so these are their own separate abdominals. Um, this little bit of shading that you add here, it doesn't mean that it splits it off and it starts making third. Um, that's not what it is at all. It's just a little bit of shading that you're going to want to add to your image. So moving along to kind of the sides, probably just add a little bit of shading because it is a little bit further back in the image. Adding a bit of shading here can add a little bit of depth to your image. We covered this in another series, so if you haven't seen that, go watch that. So there we go. There's just a little bit more shading for kind of our chest muscles. It's looking pretty good. So now we're going to uh, pay a little bit more attention to our deltoids. And I am deciding that I'm going to redo this part. Because if you look at the other part, um, it was a little bit further out than this one. And I want it to be a little bit further out. We're going to have that uh, come in up here. Make the same kind of shape. I'm, I'm just looking in my small window kind of at the, to the top right to kind of compare both of them. So that's why I'm not switching back and forth all the time on the main screen, if, if you're wondering. Okay, so there we go, they're pretty even. Now you're going to be adding a little bit of shading. Now, um, with deltoid shape, the main muscle is kind of here. And so you'll notice a little bit of that shape when we do a little bit of shading. So, it comes up here, and that shape is identified when it suddenly kind of dips down to the very edge of the bottom of the abdominal where it... Or, sorry, not the abdominal, the, uh, the deltoid, where it kind of bends here when it meets the bicep. So there will be some shading there. I am doing the shading to a bit of an extreme just to kind of show where the shading is going to be exactly. So, um, sorry if it's a little bit confusing or if you're trying to do this for accurate shading of the areas. I'm just going to be kind of showing where the shading needs to be. So yeah. Um, there will also probably be shading from these lines that bend in on the top of the pectoral. A tiny bit of shading coming back up, kind of angling towards the clavicle. So there we go. There's a little bit more of our shading done. As you can see, it's looking a lot more realistic and it's quite good. Alright. Just gonna add a tiny bit of shading kind of to outline where that main muscle in our deltoid is going to be. There we go. Okay, now um, I'm just going to do a tiny little bit of bicep shading. Just so that it doesn't stand out too much from the 
rest of our image, even though I suppose it already does. And we're going to just have a little bit of transition from there to our forearm. And yeah, a little bit more shading here, following the curvature of the bicep. Uh, we are going to be covering kind of arms and the muscles and the arms and how to shade them in a separate video as well, so I'm not going to be going into too much depth or explaining exactly what I'm doing in this video. Okay, so there we go. There's kind of going to be our front view of where all the muscles are going to be. Um, if your character, say, is a little bit thinner and you can kind of see where the ribs are and everything, you might want to add some lines. They generally are going to uh, kind of come in and meet up where kind of these bottoms of the abs are, I've noticed. And so I may just add a little bit more of that. Maybe add another one coming in there if you want. Um, same thing with kind of muscle definition, because we uh, noted in our past video that there are a ton of side muscles in here. So if you're wanting to do all of those, you're probably just going to want to focus on where they were. So we can add a muscle there and a muscle here. And you're just going to want to do just a whole bunch of little shading depending on where the muscles were. So yeah, that's kind of how you're going to be doing that. Um, as you can see, both sides, they add something to it. If we just split it down the middle, look at the right where we kind of added the ribs and look at the left where we kind of added these little muscles. You can see that both of them add something to the image, so I would recommend putting in one or the other because it does add to the image. So yeah. So that's kind of how we're going to be covering it from the front view. Now the side view is a little bit, well actually quite a lot different, and so we're just going to quickly cover that once I add a bit of shading there. Okay. So, working off of the side view now, um, we're going to kind of start off where the, the chin is and we'll work from there. Well, not exactly the chin, just right under. So, we're going to come in, there will be your Adam's apple there, and then we're going to move down. Now, this is where your pectoral muscles are going to be, and so it is actually quite straight for the most part. And then it'll curve around here. Um, you don't want it to be like a super big curve, as that is not going to be really seen in pectorals. And so it'll probably be something like that, but then it'll start curving out kind of at the end. And then there's where your first pectoral is, and it kind of comes out and meets the same uh, kind of vertical. Uh, it, it stretches out just as much as the pectoral. So when we draw it, if you draw a straight line up and down, you're probably going to be able to uh, see them along the same line, or close to at least. Uh, just make sure that your ab isn't uh, extending farther than your pectoral. And then it kind of comes in, and this is kind of around the area where your, um, where your second set of abdominals is. And then it comes out. This is still rather a, a rather general thing. And there we go, that's kind of how the front's going to look. It looks a bit odd because we don't have the back, but we'll, we'll add the back in right now. So we're going to have kind of the, the back of the head that leads down to the neck. Um, now, this angle here is going to be just about the same as the, pector or the angle that we follow here on the pectoral muscle. Um, it's going to be the same. It starts a bit higher, ends a bit higher, and then it kind of curves down a little bit. And this curve is going to be due to our uh, shoulder blade that we're going to put in right here. Shoulder blade, it'll come in a little bit. It'll look a little bit weird, and then it curves in quite nicely. Just a nice smooth curve all the way down. And that's going to be kind of our back. So, now we're going to kind of add where our shoulder's going to be. It will look a little bit weird. Um, so, well, first we're going to quickly 
add a little clavicle. That's our nice clavicle. And then our shoulder. So there's going to be kind of the first part of the shoulder. Um, there will be a lot of shoulder muscles, so I'd suggest getting a reference for this. I have my own, so that's what I'm getting off of. Um, I'm just adding a little bit of shading in various places where a little bit of mu muscle definition can actually be seen. So, yeah. So there we go. There's kind of a little bit of uh, muscle definition in our shoulder. Sorry that it's not super uh, super obvious where the muscles are. Uh, shoulders, they have a lot of muscles in them. But um, just focusing on the deltoids, where the deltoids are going to be. Again, we're going to kind of focus on our uh, the shape of our deltoids, which are going to be kind of like this. And that's kind of where our deltoids are going to be almost kind of like a spearhead coming down. So we're just going to go show a little bit of shading to show that. And we're going to do that. And now that's going to kind of be outlining the bottom of our deltoid. So there we go. There's kind of where our shoulder is going to be. So we're going to, again, do a little bit of bicep. Um, we have our curve here, which is kind of it coming in from our pectoral muscle, and then coming out in the shape of our bicep. Now I'm going to end the bicep about here. I'm going to end it there, because it's about where you change directions on uh, your abdominals where it stops coming inward and it goes outward. And we're going to kind of draw a little bit of our um, our forearm. Kind of going like that. On the back, it doesn't follow as dramatic a curve, either on this part that I drew kind of over here. As you can see, it's not quite as steep. Here, it's, yeah, it's not quite as defined of an angle, or uh, of an arc. There we go, we'll add this part. Comes out a little bit for the elbow that we're going to add in a, just a sec. And there we go. There's kind of our muscle. And I'm just going to quickly redo this bicep. It, it looks a bit off. So, sorry. There we go, that's a little better. There we go. Yeah, that looks a little better. So moving on just to do a little bit of shading, because it still does look a little bit awkward with all these random curves on the on the front. So we're just going to show a little bit of shading just to kind of show what that is, as it is a pectoral muscle. There we go. We have our shading around this area as it, the arm is going to be covering a little bit of uh, the light. So I'm just putting a little dark patch around there. Uh, we're going to add just a little bit of shading further underneath the pectoral, just because it is a big muscle. I'm going to add a little bit of shading here, under this abdominal, and it'll kind of come up. Same thing here, we're just going to add a light layer on that second abdominal where it's going down. And a little bit here where it's going to be curving, finishing off there. I'm going to do a little line showing kind of where maybe a rib is coming down, and you can kind of see a little bit of shading in between there. So that's looking a little bit better. A little bit of stuff in the back. That's what we're going to do. So this is going to be kind of under the shoulder blade. So I'm just going to show a little bit there. There are some back muscles, which again we'll cover in another video. I'll just do a little bit of quick shading around there. And there we go. Now we're just going to cover a tiny little bit of neck shading and a little bit of arm shading, just to kind of make this image just look a little bit better. A little bit of shading kind of here underneath kind of the the chin area. Um, the Adam's apple is not going to have any highlights on it, 
from this particular angle. Uh, neither will the sternocleidomastoids, so we're not going to be covering those. I'm going to come up and meet with the shoulder, so that's good. Now just a little bit of shading on the arm. So we already have our deltoids nicely done. Um, so we're just going to be doing a little bit of kind of bicep, tricep, and forearm. This will just make the image just look a little bit more complete. I'll cover a little bit more on how to shade these in another video. Yeah. There are a lot of muscles in these areas, so... Uh, it's kind of difficult to tell exactly where uh, shading is going to be. So I would very uh, highly recommend getting a reference for these. You can use yourself as a reference, that's a very accurate reference for the most part, most of the time, depending on body type and exactly um, what your character's body type is going to be. So yeah, that is pretty basic. <laughs> Kind of complicated actually, but that is basically how you're going to be doing your chest muscles. So um, it is going to be split up and down the middle. You're going to be wanting a little bit of shading in there. Um, pectoral muscles and your rib cage, they are going to be a little bit separated. So um, like if you drew where your rib cage comes out to and just kind of zoom in, they will meet further up, but pectoral will come out in front. So that's an important thing to get. Uh, biceps, they're going to kind of be meeting in between them, so that's why the biceps overlap a little bit there. Uh, with abdominals, there may be folds and bends in them, as shown here sometimes, and that may depend on the specific musculature of your figure. So be sure to look out for that. Um, same, your clavicle also depends on that. Uh, that depends on the specific musculature of your figure. So yeah. A lot just really depends on how on the musculature of your figure. So yeah, sorry I've said that so many times in the past minute. And yeah, same thing from kind of the side view. Shoulder is going to be a bit odd, so I would very much recommend getting a reference image to that. Uh, for here, this angle is going to be about the same as that angle. Just this one is going to be starting higher up and ending higher up. Make sure that you get the uh, the curvature here, going out to the first abdominal, and that the, if you draw a line straight down, they will almost meet, or they will meet. Make sure you get shading under the shoulder blade, but then again, I suppose that's for another video. All right, and so that's basically how you're going to be doing your chest. Um, I'm not uh, going to be covering nipples and all that kind of stuff, because that's not something that you're generally going to be needing to know how to draw when drawing a when drawing a chest. Uh, if you want to do that stuff, then you can get your references for that. So, yeah. If you have any more questions, just comment below. If you like this video, then be, be sure to give it a like. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, subscribe. And, yeah. Thank you, everybody, so much for watching. And we will see you in the next tutorial.